Hey everybody and welcome to my top five guitar lesson series. Today's subject, scales. You're going to learn a couple of ways of playing major scales, a minor pentatonic scale, a major pentatonic scale, and of course, you got to have the blues scale in there as well, okay? So if you're watching this on YouTube, this is like a preview version of the entire video. You can see the entire video if you become a member of my guitar lesson website called Songbike, www.song-bike.com. Check it out. In the meantime, let's get started. Okay, so top five scales. Let's start with a very important and very useful major scale. I'm going to teach you a one octave major scale on the three treble strings. I'm going to teach this to you in the key of A, uh, partly for alphabetical reasons and partly because the key of A here is going to keep you in the comfort zone on the neck of the guitar. You don't have to go up too high, you know. Okay, so key of A, one octave major scale. <laughs> I'm in second position. Index finger is going to be responsible for any second fret notes, and middle is going to be on the threes, ring finger covering the fours, pinky is going to play any of the fifth fret notes, okay, that's known as second position. My picking hand is alternating, very, very important. I know it's off camera over here, but I'm doing alternate picking, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and it's very important to do this scale in reverse, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, your homework is to memorize the scale pattern and then move it up to a new place on the neck of the guitar. For instance, starting on the fifth fret, same scale pattern. Index finger, skip a fret, ring finger, neck string, index finger. See how this is the same pattern? Middle finger on the very next fret, skip a fret, pinky. Next string, index, skip a fret, ring finger, next fret, pinky. It's not the A major anymore, it happens to be the C major because 5 on the 3rd string is the note C. So your job is to practice this scale pattern all up and down the neck, quiz yourself on uh, what the name of the starting note is, and, uh, and learn your major scales all up and down the neck. Don't forget, you can do it uh, so far down in this direction that it becomes a G major scale. Okay, you see the tab on the screen. Now that's uh, a first position scale because it involves open strings and first fret notes. But it's directly related to the A that you just learned. Now, your second bit of homework is to improvise using the A major scale on top of any song that's in the key of A major. And two songs I recommend would be The Weight by the band and uh, how about um, Three Little Birds by Bob Marley, okay? Crank up those songs, they're both in the key of A, they're relatively slow tunes, and improvise using that A major scale on top of those tunes. And it's a good way to get comfortable improvising with a scale, which is one of the absolute most important reasons to even learn a scale in the first place. Okay, now we're gonna move on uh, to another major scale, but a two octave version of that major scale covering all six strings, here it comes. Okay, our second scale, also a major scale, but it's going to be two octaves. We're staying in the key of A, and we're going to be in fourth position. That means index is going to play in the fours, and there's the fives, and the sixes, and the sevens with your pinky. Two octaves. A, a little a bonus note. Definitely down up picking with my picking hand, okay, and I'm staying strictly in fourth position, okay? Make sure you use all four of your fingers just like I did. So a two octave A major scale. Now, your homework is the same as before. Move that scale pattern up and down the neck, okay? It's not always gonna be A major, but you're always gonna get a major scale. The name of the major scale depends on your very first note, okay? So you really have to know the names of the notes on the sixth string. Uh, by the way, if you wanna brush up on your music theory, I have a series of music theory videos, music theory for guitarists, so check those out as well. Okay, let's move on to the pentatonics. So I know you want to see the rest of this video. You can find it at my website, songbike, www.song-bike.com. You can finish this video and see a lot of other exclusive content not available on YouTube, okay? So I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching, everybody.